on the bench changed places with Tory Andrew Flo. John Champion, watch this one. Oh, miss kick by Newsom. It's Gianfranco Zola, and it should have been one nil. If there's any player you would back to score from there, it's the tiny Italian. A horrible miscue by the defender, and also ultimately by Zola. Booth. De Canio, how on earth did he control that with his instep like that? One can only wonder at some of the things the Italian does. Now, can he do the simple things like crossing the ball? Well, he's got a free kick. There's the ball, he says. You couldn't take it off me legally, could you? De Canio won it, and De Canio is going to take it. Six Wednesday players in the box. Booth! A whisker away. Delightfully flighted set piece. And a header that had power and was only inches away from having the requisite accuracy as well. Pembridge. Rudy. Booth. Support arriving to his right, but he couldn't control the ball. This is Di Matteo. Now Petrescu leaves it for Viali. Stefanovic got half a foot in. Petrescu! Against his old club, the Romanian makes an indelible mark. A finish that was neat and, above all, economical. The berth, hauled back by Andy Booth. Forward by Le Berth. no flag, it's Viali all alone against the keeper, and Zola was unmarked in the middle. And Viali's selfish approach has probably cost Chelsea a goal. First reaction was that Viali must have been offside, but there was no flag, and look at Zola. All it needed was a square ball, and instead, from not the easiest of angles, Viali blasted high and wide. Oh, header from Collins. The shot from Petrescu deflected behind. Usually Chelsea take their corners short to Zola, but this is Wise all on his own. And behind by Booth. Zola to take. Italian corner routine taken by Zola and the header in a contest that maybe the keeper should have won came from Gianluca Viali. Stefanovic. Leverf with time. And vision. And Viali is clear. Nolan trying to get back to him and he's done well to get goal side, but it's still Viali. And if he can turn, there's a chance. If he can't, he's pulled down, and it's a penalty. And Ian Nolan may be in trouble. Referee Barber about to apply his own interpretation to that sequence of events. It's a yellow card for Nolan, who initially did very well indeed to get goal side, but then hauled him down. And I would have thought he was the last defender, and as such, was fortunate to get away without a red card. It'll be the Frenchman Le Berth to take it and to score with a fearsomely struck kick. Which Pressman got a hand to, but was never going to stop. Carboni. Rudy. Carboni again. And still Carboni. Can't fault his enthusiasm. <laughs> Yes! Out of the blue from the man in blue and white. His first of the season. This may well be in a losing cause. But he'll have enjoyed it because it was a real cannonball. Flo. Flo. And 
still going, he's past Des Walker, and Nichols! A real handful in full flight, the Norwegian. Agonisingly close for Nichols. Kilboni. Hustled off it by Di Matteo. And now it's Flo. Thinking about a shot. And everything is going right for Chelsea. There seemed precious little danger to Wednesday when Flo picked up possession, but he was allowed to run to assess the situation and to pick his spot. Wise. Oh, he's got hold of the waistband on Carboni's shorts. Years ago, 